Today, we are cooking steak, carrots, and garlic bread. Hello, Portfolio. We're excited to be with you today. We are going to have a really fun cooking session today. We got some really fun stuff to cook, right, guys? <laughs> but we have, we have a little bit of a caveat. Everything we're cooking today is in the great outdoors. We're gonna be cooking on a fire today. Specifically, we're gonna be cooking on, what is it, guys? A rocket stove. A rocket stove. <laughs> But don't worry, rocket stoves you don't buy, you make. So we're gonna tell you right now how to make a rocket stove. All right, everybody, we're gonna begin with the fundamentals of making a rocket stove today for our dinner. Now, if you can think of a rocket stove as essentially a small little chimney, that's basically what it is. You've got a hole on the top, and on the bottom, you've got a little hole for firewood. You can kind of stick in through the side. On the other side, we actually create another hole and that's where we're gonna have a bunch of oxygen pouring inside. Now, obviously in order to make a fire, you need to have fuel, you need to have some air, some oxygen going inside there, and then an ignition source. So once you light the fire with your match, that oxygen keeps that fire pumping nice and bright. Now, what's interesting about rocket stoves is the more oxygen you have pouring into this air hole, the more the heat starts to rise. The more the heat rises, the more air actually starts pouring in until you get to the point where you have a raging inferno. So there's three reasons that people really like to use rocket stoves. One, you can actually monitor the temperature. You can make it go hotter or you can make it go cooler, depending on what you want. Two, fuel. You actually don't have to use a lot of wood with these things. If you're gonna cook a steak on a normal fire, it's gonna take loads of logs and sticks to make it work. But this, you're just gonna use a handful of sticks to cook an entire dinner. And the third one is if you build it right, there's actually no smoke. It's kind of nice when you're cooking outdoors. So to create our rocket stove, we're gonna begin with a pile of bricks we found near Grandpa's shed. And we're going to make a U shape with them. And two of those, we're going to space a little bit closer together so we can put a brick on top of that, creating a hole underneath. We're gonna do the same thing on the left-hand side, adding two more bricks for sticks to lay on top of. And then after that, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna stack these bricks until they get to about uh, three feet or so. It's about how tall ours was. You can make them any size you want to, obviously, but that's what works for us. Super simple, that's all it takes. All right, so now that we know how to make a rocket stove, we're gonna show you the menu that we have today. Today, we are going to be making some really delicious stuff. We've got steak, we're gonna be doing grilled carrots with ricotta, and we've got uh, honey right here, we've got uh, a little bit of thyme as well. You wanna have some good uh, balsamic vinegar. And then we're also gonna be doing some garlic bread over here. So everything, everything will be done on the rocket stove. Should we get going, guys? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're at the rocket stove, and three steps to uh, lighting the rocket stove. First one is you need to take some paper, crumple it up, and put it down inside the hole. Right there. That's all you gotta do. Just drop it right down inside. Next, we're gonna put some sticks inside. So now we have a whole layer of sticks on top. Oliver. I'm lighting it through the air hole. Fire's lit and the hot air is coming up. All right, so now we gotta do the steak on the steak. Super simple. All it takes is a little bit of salt and just take a nice little simple grill, put it on top so your food doesn't actually touch. Now while that's cooking, we can season this side of it. See what it looks like? Ooh, yeah. All right. Steak is done, we're gonna let that rest. It's time to move on to the carrots. For the carrots, super simple. We're just going to do a little bit of olive oil on top, salt and pepper. All right, to the grill with the carrots. Here we go. Time to turn the carrots a little bit. You want them to be nice and charred. All right, boys are playing sword fights in the background. Carrots are done. We're gonna take these, put them on the plate, and do our garlic bread. We've got some garlic. We're gonna put some olive oil right inside I'll of here. We mix it up, and we're going to brush this onto our bread. There you go, Oliver. I'm painting bread. <laughs> all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the good stuff. All right, Ready. done. Wow, we got a lot of garlic all over the table. Yeah, I got Time that. Time to put them on the grill real quick. We're just gonna put them straight on the grill. Slap one on there. I wish the phone could smell how good this is. Oh man, it's good. 
As you can see, it's already cooked, nice and charred. Ooh Thing gets hot pretty darn quick. All right, garlic bread is done. It is time to plate. First, we're gonna start with the uh, with the carrots. What we do is we're gonna take some of our ricotta here, a little bit of uh, salt and pepper, carrots here. Take uh, a little bit of honey, and then some balsamic vinegar. This is a great one from Italy. And then to finish it off, thyme. A steak we'll put on here. <laughs> and then after that, the bread. The bread. That is our outside dinner on the rocket stove. Carrots, ricotta, a little steak, oh, and... Some bread. <laughs> and some garlic bread. Hope you guys are having fun at your house. Thanks so much for spending time with us.